This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, website, or online store, make it with Squarespace. Hello, hello. My name is Echo, just in case you're new here, and I am currently house slash dog sitting for a friend. Hence this weird background that is in no way my brand. It's pretty much no secret that I'm an artist, but today I want to let you know that I really suck at watercolor. Let's have a look at some of my terrible watercolor art. If you know how to watercolor paint without warping whatever you're painting on, please let me know. Because I feel like if I could paint without it warping the paper, I might like it more. Maybe I should just try watercolor painting on a really hard surface, like a block of wood. But like a month and a half ago, I went to an art store and I saw this little guy. And despite the fact that I really don't like watercolor, it looked like it would make a really good clickbait thumbnail. So, so here we are. This is how my brain processes now. So I bought this tacky little cheap $2 watercolor palette. And strangely enough, I actually had fun with it. Personally, I blame my friend Chloe. Chloe is actually much better at watercolor than I am, and she's kind of offhandedly mentioned different techniques about watercolor throughout our friendship process. Two things that Chloe had mentioned were that you have to wait for each layer to dry, very important, and that you have to start with the lightest color first and then slowly move to the darkest color. These are things I did not know. So thank you, Chloe, I guess. The forest scene was just based off of something that I saw on Pinterest. It was kind of like a warm up just to see if I could handle this watercolor palette, but I did actually have a fair bit of fun with it. For the second one, I wanted to do more than just default to my red and black color palette, so I tried to use all of the colors I had at my disposal. I also decided to paint a rabbit because whether I like it or not, bunnies are a very integral part of my brand at this point. Bunnies are good. Side note, I'm in love with the new fire starter for Sword and Shield. It's too freaking cute. I think this tiny watercolor palette actually helped a lot because it made me realize that I'm better at watercolor if I'm working on something very small rather than trying to do something very large. I think part of that is because it keeps the paper warping to a minimum. Anyway, fancy picture, lots of like dark around the outside. For the third painting, I decided to try and paint a desert, also inspired by a random picture that I saw on Pinterest. For anyone who doesn't know, I'm from Phoenix and I love the desert. Not a fan of humidity. Water, man, just don't like it. Something I've mentioned in a previous video is that I'm not really a big fan of texture. Textured coloring is kind of trash in my eyes. I don't wanna look at it, it makes me upset. I feel like watercolor has a lot of texture, but it's also pretty good for making gradients, which I feel like kind of makes up for the whole sandpaper to the eyes feeling. At a point I realized that I could actually take all of the things that I don't like about watercolor and use them to my advantage. For example, since I'm not a fan of texture and I feel like texture is uncomfortable to look at, something creepy or unsettling or scary would make a lot of sense to do in watercolor. So I decided to do something a little bit creepy. I actually painted all of these while I was in New York with my friends Crystal and David and they have this adorable black cat who was very interested in what I was doing. I decided to draw this large silhouetted character who's I think holding a lamp post. I did that to kind of indicate that he's very, very tall. I wanted to make him seem like a dark character against a dark background. I'm actually thinking about doing this again because I have some ideas for new things I can try with watercolor, but I really need to get a decent watercolor palette first. If you have like a preferred watercolor brand or something that is like tried and true, please let me know. I had a lot of fun making these things, even though I'm not usually a fan of watercolor. After I finished making all of these fancy art things, I pulled them into Photoshop and cleaned them up and made them look a million times better in order to compensate for my lack of watercolor skill. However, before I show you the final result, I would like to talk about today's spot. As you know, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. I wanted to make a website example for this video, but I've been very busy for the last week, so I made Ben do it. He's just the cutest little website designer, isn't he? So if you would like to see the website that Ben made, you can go to whoisbestboy.com. Squarespace has an amazing all in one platform that you can use to make beautiful websites without ever having to update, install, or patch anything ever. They also have award-winning customer service that you can call 24 seven. So if you would like to see the website that my dog made, you can go to whoisbestboy.com. So easy, a dog could do it. Joke, Crystal and I made this website. If your pets would like to make their own websites, you can go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And then when you're done with your free trial and you realize how simple and easy it is to set up a website using Squarespace, you can get 10% off your first purchase by going to squarespace.com forward slash Echo Take these discounts, take them, please. Websites are fun. 
one. I need to set up an online store. It's just a good idea in general to have one. But now let's have a look at that cleaned up artwork. Ooh, look at that. Look at that beautiful artwork. Mm-hmm, amazing, so cool. So nice. Oh yeah, yes. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I think that's about everything. Thanks for coming to watch my videos. It's been a great time having you here. YouTube is quite a magical place, isn't it? I think that's everything though. So I'm gonna give you a thousand awesome points for making it all the way to the end of this video. And hopefully I will see you later. Goodbye. This is my dirty laundry. Yes, it is. Accent pillow. There we go. Oh, he's so cute. Bye.